our next speaker knows a thing or two about entrepreneurship and is a firm believer in following your own path. Let's take a look. While many associate Stedman Graham's name with his life partner, Oprah Winfrey, he is a man who stands well on his own. Graham is a veteran of the U.S. Army, an educator, author of 11 books, including two New York Times bestsellers, a successful businessman, and a noted speaker. Stedman has spearheaded the global conversation on personal identity. When you don't know who you are, you let other people define you. Stedman teaches world leaders and youth alike on the power of finding your passion. We day make some noise for Stedman Graham! Hey, so glad to be here. So glad you're in Chicago, We day. My pleasure. I want to talk to you a minute, a few minutes, about two things. One is freedom. And we live in the greatest country in the world, America. And when I think of freedom, I think of the saying, my country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where our fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let your freedom ring. How, 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 do you, how do you let your freedom ring? Well, I think it's kind of hard to do because most people will never really be free. Most people, they wake up in the morning, they wash their face, they brush their teeth, they get something to eat, they get the kids off to school, they work all day, they come home in the afternoon, they spend time with the family, they watch TV, they go to bed, maybe they dream that's Monday. Most people will never be free because on Tuesday, they wake up in the morning, they wash their face, they brush their teeth, they get something to eat, they get the kids off to school, they work all day, they come home in the afternoon, they spend time with the family, they watch TV, they go to bed, maybe they dream that's Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, they do the same thing. And on Thursday, they do the same thing. And on Friday, they do the same thing. And they do something different on Saturday. They go to church on Sunday, eat chicken dinners in the afternoon, get ready for Monday, and they start to work. And what's the missing piece for most people if you did the same thing you did yesterday as you would do today, as you would do tomorrow? What have you done? Nothing. And so when you talk about we, you have to also talk about I. You also have to talk about the most important question in the world, which, are, which is, do you know who you are? And it's not designed for you to know who you are. Because you go to school, you memorize, you take tests, you repeat the information back, you get labeled with a grade, and two weeks later, if I asked you what you learned, you'd say, nothing. So if you're doing the same thing over and over every single day, which is nothing, Everything you learn, you forget, which is nothing. Nothing from nothing is nothing. So the most important question anyone will ever ask you in your life is, who are you? Do you have an identity? Do you know how to take information, education, make it relevant to your purpose in life? Transfer it to your mind so you become a thinking human being in the 24 hours that you have every single day, which is the only thing that makes you equal. Everybody has 24 hours. The question is, what are you doing with your 24 hours? And so I didn't understand that. I grew up with low self-esteem, a lack of confidence in myself. I grew up with two disabled brothers in my family, tough thing to deal with. And I didn't understand how to take information, education, and make it relevant to who I was as a person so I could be the best person I could be. And I, when I discovered that unless you understand your purpose in life, you will never be able to maximize your potential based on who you are as a person. And the most important word, I'm going to leave you with this, a couple of things. The most important word is this. Most important word in the world, and if you don't get this word, you will only be average. Because we live in an average world. The most important word in the world is spelled L-O-V-E. If you want to empower yourself, you have to love yourself. There's only two choices in life. 
It's either negative or positive, good or bad, will or won't, can or can't, looking at the glass half, half, half empty or half full. So every day you want to choose love. And identity is based on finding out how to love yourself every single day. So you become the best person you can be. And you're so great because you give service, which is the ultimate gift you can give to anybody, is your service and a part of who you are. And it reminds me of Dr. King, Dr. Martin Luther King, who is one of the greatest servants in the history of our world. And he said this when he talked about becoming the best you can be. He said, even if it falls your lot to be a street sweeper, sweep streets like Michelangelo painted pictures. Sweep streets like Handel and Beethoven composed music. Sweep streets like Shakespeare wrote poetry. Sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will have to pause and say, here lived a great street sweeper that swept his or her job well. If you can't be a pine on the top of a hill, be a scrub in the valley. But be the best little scrub on the side of the hill. Be a bush. If you can't be a tree, if you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. It isn't by the size that you win or fail. Be the best of whatever you are. And y'all the best. Thank you so much.